Now, I highly doubt that you've heard of this scripting technique because it is an original. It's something that I personally have adapted and it is very, very effective. Hello friends, this is Andrea Shulman again. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how you can manifest anything using scripting. Now, before I get into this really awesome scripting technique, I am going to be doing another $250 alignment giveaway. It's very simple to enter and I'll explain how to do that at the end of the video. So if you would like to be in alignment with 250 bucks, make sure to watch through till the end, but let's go ahead and get started on this technique. Now scripting is a really great thing that you can do to help draw the things that you want into your reality. And scripting is really just about writing down what you want, writing it down as if you already have it and writing it down, feeling the feelings of having it. But something that can get in the way with scripting is that it can be challenging for people to stay in the vibrational state of having what they want while they write it down. So for instance, perhaps you want to manifest a house. Okay. And you sit down to script and you write something like, you know, I'm so happy and grateful for my brand new house. For a lot of people writing down that statement can trigger feelings of not having the house. It can cause you to remember that you don't have it yet. Maybe you live in a crummy apartment or things aren't as nice as you'd like. And so while you're sitting down to script something that you don't yet have, if you aren't careful, you can trigger feelings of lack. And so this is why sometimes scripting doesn't work for people. So I've designed a very unique scripting technique that will allow you to get into the vibrational state of gratitude and having while you write so that feelings of lack don't come up and they aren't triggered and they don't push away what you want, but rather you're able to write down what you want and really be in that state of having what you want. All right. So for step one, you're going to need something to write in. And I'm often asked, is it okay to type? your scripting or should you use a journal? In my personal opinion, I do believe that journals are better. And for a couple of reasons, one of the reasons is that for most people, I know at least for me, this may not be the case for you, but for most people, they type quicker than they write or they handwrite. Okay. And so the longer you're able to spend dwelling on an idea, the better with the law of attraction. And so if you're a very fast typist, you're going to get that scripting down so fast that you don't even really have time to register the feelings of having. So for that respect, a journal is better as it will slow you down. And if you write fast, you can take your time writing really nice, clean, neat letters. The other reason that I prefer a journal over typing is that with a journal, you can block out all distractions. When you're on your computer, I don't know about you, but I get lots of pop-ups. Sometimes a text will come through on my Mac or an update will pop up. You know, my background's busy. There's all these other tabs that may be going on and there's just a lot more distractions on a computer than there is with a clean sheet of paper. And focus is really important when it comes to scripting. And then finally, you know, it's also cheaper and less expensive and they're easier to cart around and, you know, easier to keep around you. So I would really recommend it investing in a journal. It's not a very big investment. You can find one for a couple bucks. I'm sure. Now the second step is going to be obviously to open your journal and just start writing. But instead of writing what you want, what I want you to do is I want you to write or script about three things that you already have that you very greatly appreciate. Not small things, big things are better for this exercise. So I would think a lot about what are the things that you treasure and value the most in your life that bring a very strong sense of gratitude towards you. These are the kinds of things that we're going to be looking for to use in the journal. And so good examples of this might be for some people, maybe it's your children, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's your home, maybe it's your parents, uh, maybe it's your, maybe it's your employment. Maybe it's your health, 
but think about something that is substantial to you. And we want you to try and identify a few of these things to use for this scripting exercise. And the first three things that you're going to write are going to be things like this, things that you already have that you are sincerely grateful for. And in your journal, you're going to write out for each of those things, simply a statement of gratitude and appreciation for having whatever that is. And the gratitude and appreciation is very important. You want to make sure that you're saying something thankful and appreciative. Like I'm so appreciative for this beautiful, spacious home that I live in that provides warmth and shelter for me and my family. Okay. And notice how I didn't just say I'm thankful for my home. Okay. <laughs> you want to use a lot of colorful words. You want to explain a little bit about why you're thankful and allow yourself to get into that momentum of, wow, this is really amazing. This is an amazing home that I live in and really take a moment to appreciate whatever that is, whether it's your home, your family, your job, the money, your body, whatever it is that you have that you're seriously appreciative for. Now you're going to do that for three separate things. Okay. And so really the way I look at this part of the scripting process is you haven't asked for anything yet, but what we're doing is we're getting your vibration up. We're getting you into the state of appreciation. We're getting you into the state of abundance. We're getting you into the state of having, because one of the things that you may know about the law of attraction is that the more you can get into a vibration, the easier it is to stay there. So this is a way of warming yourself into scripting for something that hasn't yet manifested, getting you into that vibrational state. Hey, if you're enjoying today's video, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, engage, all of those lovely things that the YouTube algorithm loves. They all go a really long way to support me and I really do appreciate it. Now what you're going to do for your next step is you're going to slip in something you haven't yet manifested that you would really like to manifest. So perhaps you've had your eye on somebody and they haven't yet talked to you, or perhaps there is a promotion that you'd really like at your job, but you haven't yet gotten it. Maybe you'd like to see a large sum of money and you've never had that kind of money before. At this point in time, you're going to sneak that one in and you're going to explain it as if you're thankful and grateful for it just the way you did for the other three ahead of it. So I'm so happy and grateful and thankful for this new promotion at this wonderful job. I have all these opportunities and I really feel that things are coming together with, for me with my career. Okay. So really take a moment, really get into the feeling of it, the having of it, but don't dwell too long. Okay. So get a nice statement out and then immediately after you, after you script this one that you don't have, go back and script another one that you do have. Pick something else in your world you already have that you're already grateful for, you're already thankful for, and do another one, something that you actually already have, like you did for the first three. Okay. So there's three that you already have, one that you don't have, another one that you do have, and then you could do another one that you don't have. Okay. And so notice how we're doing this three to ramp you into the feeling of having it and then slip one in that you don't have and immediately piggyback with another one to goose your vibration back up. This is a way of kind of tricking your subconscious mind to allowing that idea to get back there while you're still in a positive state and then immediately reinforcing that. Yes, this is stuff that I have. I am already abundant. And at this point for your fourth step, you can go every other for a couple more. Okay. So we want to do three that we do have one that we don't have one that we do have one that we don't have one that we do have one that we don't have. And then at the end of the exercise, I want you to follow up with three more things that you already have that you're happy and grateful for. So the idea here with this scripting technique is that you really rev up your energy 
to get into the vibration of having, and then you slip a few in that you don't have to kind of trick the mind, trick the subconscious into accepting those ideas as already having them because you're so strongly in that vibration. And then when you finish the last one that you don't yet have, hit yourself with three more that you already do have. And if you do this, you're gonna find that the things that you scripted this technique come to fruition a lot quicker and a lot faster and in a lot more fun way because you're not sitting down and scripting from a place of lack and not having. Now as a bonus tip here, again, with this list, I would really only stick to things that you have a strong sense of appreciation for and things that you really want to have for the sake of brevity. Like we could go back and forth with every other until the moon and back asking for all different kinds of things that we want. But really the goal with any law of attraction strategy is that you want to cultivate a state of feeling and you want the process to be fun. If you are like most people, if you're like me or probably anybody else you know, there's probably only a few things that you really, 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 really appreciate in your life. And there's probably only a few things that you really, really, really want right now. So if you stick to just using those items on this list, it will allow you to get in what's important and manifest what you really want, rather than spending a lot of time asking for things that maybe you kind of want, but you don't really want. They're not really getting you excited. And if you think about them too much, you might actually be kind of bored about them. So really for this scripting technique, use this one for the big things. Use this one for the things that you really want. So if you do this scripting technique in the way that I've explained, you're going to do three things that you have at the beginning, three things that you have at the end. You're going to do three things that you don't have in the middle sandwiched by two that you do have. And if you round all that out, that actually comes to 11 items on your list. And I don't know how many of you know much about numerology, but 11 is a master number. It's a really great number. It's one that I think is a really great one to use for this particular technique for manifestation. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we do have another alignment giveaway that we are going to do today for $250. And also for those of you who are very interested in my content and like using my strategies, you may also like to know that I am doing a beginning of the year sale on my membership platform right now. You can get an annual membership for $100 off the typical price. So if you would like to look into that, and see what all my membership platform offers, I will put a link below in the description. But now I wanna to toss this over to my assistant, Mary, who is going to explain the rules for the $250 giveaway. Hey everybody, to enter, just comment below and let us know why you're in alignment with $250. This giveaway is sponsored by Andrea Schulman and not YouTube. All the rules are in the description. Good luck, everyone. All right, so again, to enter this contest, please make sure to comment below why you are in alignment with $250. And again, if you are interested in looking into my membership program and seeing all of the manifesting resources that you can get for $100 off this week only as a beginning of the year special, again, please make sure to go ahead and look below in the description for a link on that. And then finally, if you are new to my work here, I would love to invite you to take my Law of Attraction test. If you would like to know for sure that you are the creator of your reality, nobody else, nothing else, just you. <laughs> I've designed a very quick five minute test that will show you that your thoughts really do become your reality. And to take that test now, again, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Thanks so much for watching today's video on how you can manifest anything using scripting. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And of course, I look forward to bringing you another video soon. Bye-bye.